prior to Katrina, this was a region that was, had a stagnant economy, had high poverty, high racial and economic inequality, and as we know today, a really unsustainable land use development pattern. So six years after Katrina, um, it's not just about how many homes are rebuilt or how many people are back, but we have to ask, have we been able to reverse any of those trends? And what we can say at six years after, uh, six years since Katrina, is that the economy right now is certainly actually doing better than the U.S. economy because it's being somewhat buoyed, uh, shielded by the rebuilding activities. It is starting to see uh, emergence of some new industries um, and um, there is great school reform efforts underway, test scores for um, a lot of the low-income st students who are in, in the charter schools are actually improving. We released a new book called Resilience and Opportunity, Lessons from the U.S. Gulf Coast after Katrina and Rita because we think this is a good time to step back and document some of the early lessons that are emerging from New Orleans and the Gulf Coast because of the enormous increasing demand uh, to learn from major population centers that have been hit by catastrophe. One of the most important lessons coming out of this book is that systemic change can happen in the face of tragedy. Why is this important? The one thing that sets a catastrophe, like Hurricane Katrina and their levee failures, the one thing that sets that apart from any other natural disaster is the fact that it completely wipes out a city. It creates a do-over of the entire community, the governing systems, the policies that underlie it. And so the question that I always ask after a major catastrophe is, um, do you use that as an opportunity to fix what was badly broken? It was astounding the amount of community revolt <laughs> coming together to push for systemic change. However, in order for the change to happen, government needed to respond. And those, those grassroots efforts and community efforts were, were um, fueled by national partnerships. In addition to that, um, this community has really applauded the relationships with the Department of Justice on criminal justice reform, on, with HHS on, to help them overhaul their health care delivery system, um, even with the, with the housing and urban development under the Obama administration has been praised for helping with them to house the folks who are still uh, homeless. So I think that um, when you take on systemic reform, uh, you can't do it alone. Um, you need massive partnerships, uh, philanthropic, government, even private sector, um, to really bring fuel and scale to that kind of change.